again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 12th of January, 2019. Just read a couple of interesting articles. I'll attach both links. Jamie Close smiles with her aunt and her dog in first photo after escaping kidnapping. Jamie Close has reunited with her loved ones one day after escaping the 21-year-old man who allegedly abducted her and killed her parents nearly three months ago. People have obtained the first photos of the 13-year-old with her aunt Jennifer Smith and her dog Molly Smith, who is Jamie's mother Denise's sister, will act as the teen's legal guardian. The picture in which Jamie can be seen smiling is the first time the public has seen her since news of her being found. Jamie had been missing after vanishing on October the 15th, the same night her parents, Denise 46 and James Close 56, were found dead in their homes in Barron, Wisconsin, nearly 70 miles south of Gordon. She had been declared missing and endangered. An amber alert was issued for her and thousands of people joined investigations in their search for her. Jenny was rescued on Thursday afternoon after escaping her alleged captor and approaching a woman with a dog for help. The woman, named Jenny Nutter, brought Jamie to a nearby front door of Kristen and Peter Kasinkas, who opened their front door around 4 p.m. to the sound of frantic knocking from a female neighbor. This is Jamie Close. Call 911, the woman said. The pair recalled to the Star Tribune. Jennifer Haverson, who has become close friends with Jamie's aunt, tells people that Jamie is glad to be reunited with her dog, Molly. She is so glad to be home, and she is obviously thrilled to have her dog. Her dog was everything to her, says Haverson, who is one of the administrators of the Facebook group called Light My Way Home for Jamie. She wanted a dog forever. She had begged and begged her mother Denise to get a dog, and finally Denise caved. That dog was super important to her, Everson said. She's glad to have her dog back and get settled. She's very close to her two aunts, Jennifer and Sue. Jennifer babysat for all the time in her daycare that she ran, and they had daily contact. Her aunt was almost second mom, she has. All right, that's one article. Now, the other article talks about the individual that's been arrested and charged with two counts of murder and kidnapping. James Thomas Patterson. Now, there's many questions that I think need answers. The title of the video that I'm going to post is Jamie Kloss. Too many unanswered questions that need answers. It's reported that she was kept in a cabin. All right, so now where was the cabin? Was there a telephone in the cabin? How did they survive for three months? Who brought them food? 21 year old didn't have a job, didn't have any money. Folks, there's something that's not quite right. This girl would have been traumatized being at the scene of her parents being murdered with a shotgun. And if that took place, Jimmy might not have been in her right mind. How did she escape? Didn't Jake Thomas Patterson go to sleep at night? Was she locked up? Was she handcuffed? Those are the kind of questions that need answers. The pieces of the puzzle don't seem to fit together real well. Now, I'm not accusing Jamie of being an accomplice to the murder of her parents, but again, there's too many unanswered questions that need answers. I'm glad that the perpetrator, if he in fact is the perpetrator that committed these murders, has been caught. But a lot of pieces of the puzzle again don't fit. Take a look at both of the articles. 
you let me know what you think. You sure have an idea as to what I think. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. I'm glad her ordeal is over. I'm glad that she was found alive. I didn't think that she would be. I'm sure a lot of people didn't think that she would be. But again, there are a lot of pieces of the puzzle that need clarification. That's sort of what I think. Thanks for listening. The two links will be attached.